welcome to today's video on make even strength okay uh, in this video what we're going to first do is we're going to first figure out what make even strangle actually means why it's important where it's important how it's used and then what we'll do is we'll plant out the boundaries and then we'll look at some image some images to see if we can correctly locate where the triangle is located okay but before that this uh, I want to thank these guys for providing the images okay so we'll get to it make even triangle no mac even triangle mac even triangle is a surgical landmark so even if you are in first year or third year it's going to make sense a lot it's a surgical landmark so it's an applied anatomy or it's a landmark in your ENT now what does it signify it's a triangle which is a basically a defect or a depression type in your temporal bone behind the external auditory canal which is used to state the location of mastoid antrum now why is mastoid antrum necessary mastoid antrum is the largest air cell okay of your mastoid air cell system so given the fact that mastoid has a lot of air cells have maxillary of and all those things mastoid antrum is the largest air cells and it's important because it's going to be present most of the time some air cells are small some air cells form later but mastoid antrum it's a highly sure way that it's that it's highly sure that it's it can it's present okay so mastoid antrum dalis air cell mckeevan triangle is the surface surface landmark for it and the mastoid antrum is used to drain any type of uh, infection or uh, fluid that might have accumulated there now how is the triangle defined the triangle since it's a triangle will have three borders okay now why it's confusing for most people is different texts give a different meaning for each of the borders well for the two borders the superior border and the anterior border now superiorly various texts mention that it should be okay superiorly various texts mention that it's either an inferior temporal line or some call it the supramiatal crest okay so either it will be this or it will be this so that's the superior border and the anterior border some say it's the posterior superior meatal wall some call it the posterior meatal wall some call it the superior meatal wall it depends on the text that you're referring to and the third line is a line joining these two okay so the third line will be something which joins point a to point b but when you actually look at the skulls it becomes apparently clear clear that it's not as complicated okay we will look at this skull first now this itself is the triangle that we're looking for it's a depression in the temporal bone behind the external acoustic meatus this itself is the triangle which we are looking for it's evident it's pretty clear so how do we define this in terms while giving the exam okay <clears throat> so this will be your inferior temporal line or supramiatal crest okay the meatus this is the meatus so this will be the supramiatal crest then the posterior superior wall of external auditory canal okay and then a line joining those two we got the mckeevan triangle so 1.5 cm deep to the mckeevan triangle in some texts and some texts say that it's 1 cm so 1.5 cm or 1 cm deep to mckeevan triangle you will get your mastoid antrum that's your largest mastoid air cell okay so it's clear you got it right the superior border and the 
superior border the anterior border and a line joining those two i will come into this diagram let's see if you can make this out here okay again this is the inferior temporal line or the supramatal crest this is the posterior wall of the meatus and a line joining we got the triangle again again this is a skull in a different view so if you are looking at it from the other side again first what you have to do make out the zygomatic arc see till where it extends so somewhere it's extending like this and then we have the external acoustic meatus opening so again join this so approximately it extends like this this is the posterior wall a line joining those two and this becomes your McEwan's triangle okay hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys are now clear about where the McEwan triangle lies and why it's important and again I would like to thank these guys for providing the images as always I'll see you in my next video bye